Miami, Miami Dolphins. I did a phenomenal offseason, again, given the resources they had available to them. Um, I mean, again, I, I mentioned before, but Vic Fangio is just a massive, massive, you know, addition here. And then, um, obviously, Jalen Ramsey, which I think will be interesting. I think I could see him go back to that star role, do a lot of different things. It sounds like Cam Smith, their second rounder out of South Carolina, could also play in the slot. Obviously, Xavier Howard will be on the outside, but I think underrated, bringing a guy like a Sean Elliott on the back end to add more safety depth alongside the Javon Holland and Brandon Jones of the world. Like, this defense is really, really good. David Long, the off-ball linebacker, I thought was going to get a much bigger contract. I think maybe some injuries there. Not entirely sure. But, um, yeah, I mean, the offensive line was the big question mark. And then this past week, they go out and get Isaiah Wynn. Obviously, did not play well last year. I think he's been dealing with one of a handful of injuries, which does, of course, does not go away magically. But I love that move because you probably let him tr- compete to start at right tackle. If Toronto Amstead misses time, which is a near certainty at this point in his career, you can have Isaiah Wynn kick back over and at least be, you know, replacement level or slightly above, you know, left tackle play. So they did pretty well here. And then lastly, you know, Devin A. Chain, I think is just a perfect fit for this offense. Obviously track star speed, four, three, two, 40, um, you know, fits in this wide zone, just one cut and just get up field in a hurry. They're going to be a whole lot of fun and down in Miami. Yeah, they didn't pick very many times in the draft, just four picks, I think. But I like the players that they got. Cam Smith in the second round, I think, is really good value. Devin A. Chain, the, the speed that they're just continuing to add to this offense. Um, if you're only going to pick a few times, I think they did well in terms of the players that they selected. But they made a lot of sneaky um positive moves in the sort of veteran portion of free agency. Obviously, Jalen Ramsey being the the highlight real move, but number one, uh, Vic Fangio coaching this level of talent on that defense has the potential to do genuinely special things. When you look at the talent that they've amassed, particularly in the secondary, it's outstanding. The defensive line is already good, but there's a few players that they brought in, I think, that, that can have uh, really useful impacts as well. Quietly you know, we, we Tua is now reaching this point where obviously he's your starter, but he's at least a risk in terms of injuries with the concussion history from last year. Mike White is one of the best backup quarterbacks in the NFL at this point. Every time he's come in for the Jets, he's given that excitement that maybe he could be the starter and, and unfortunately got injured himself last year and didn't get a chance to capitalize on any opportunity that was there. But Mike White being brought in to A, make the Jets worse and B, um, add a a legit backup to the Tua situation, I think is a a really sneaky move as well. Maybe my favorite move they made this offseason. Oh, it's a good shout. It is it is a very, very important position in the NFL that more and more teams are understanding that and realizing that, yeah, if Matt Milano didn't rip his ribs off in like a comic book fashion tackle, uh, you know, he he probably would have had a good run there for for the Jets. So, yeah, no, I agree. I mean, the the Tua thing is obviously going to be scary. It's going to be um, something we're monitoring on a week-to-week basis. But if he does stay healthy, th- this team should be very, very competitive. Yeah, both sides of the ball um, has the potential to be really good next year. B-plus overall was our grade for their offseason. A, for their for a veteran version, the free agency, largely driven by the Jalen Ramsey acquisition. And then a B-minus for their draft with just a few draft picks. 